During this presentation, we will show you four different types of glassware that can be used to measure fluids. First, we'll take a look at our beakers. We have 50, 150, 250, 400, and 600 milliliter beakers. You should always use the smallest possible beaker for the amount of liquid you have. If you're only measuring 100 milliliters of liquid, use the 150 milliliter beaker, not the 600 milliliter. Since beakers have a lip, they are useful for pouring after measuring. Volumetric flasks are very similar to the beakers. Again, use the smallest flask for the amount of liquid you have. If you're measuring 100 milliliters of fluid, use the 125 milliliter flask. Graduated cylinders have a lip, much like the beakers, but are more accurate and easy to read because they have more tick marks. If measuring 9 milliliters of liquid, use the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. The most accurate method of measuring is with a pipette. However, plastic pipettes should never be used for measuring. Only use them to transfer fluids drop by drop. To use a pipette, fill it to the top with a plastic bulb. Then, replace the bulb with your finger and slowly let the fluid out until you have the desired volume in the pipette. Urets are also very accurate and are better for high volumes of liquids. They are traditionally used in titration. To use a burette, Fill it to a level you're comfortable with. Note the starting volume. Then, turn the knob to let the fluid run until you've reached the desired amount. Be sure to note the final volume as well. As you can see, different glassware is useful in different situations. I hope this will help you succeed in your chemistry lab.